You probably think you know LeBron James, but this NBA star isn't what you think he is. From buying a famous English Premier League team to being sued by his dad for $4 million, at the end of this video, you'll realize that you know very little about this legendary basketball superstar. Here are 10 things you didn't know about LeBron James. Number 10. It may come as a surprise to you that LeBron James is naturally left-handed. The NBA star uses his right most of the time on the basketball court. However, he does everything else with his left hand, and shooting with the right hand doesn't mean he cannot shoot with his left hand. He revealed that he works on both hands and he has come to perfect his left hand shots through practice. His unique ability to use both hands while on the court is one reason for his successful professional career. In one of his interviews, James was asked why he shot with his right hand and when in reality he's left handed. He said he got influenced by his favorite players who all shot with their right hands, including Michael Jordan, who he hoped to play with. And surprisingly, that dream came true. Number 9. Michael Jordan and LeBron James are the world's best NBA players in history, and it has even become difficult to determine who's the greatest of all time among the two. But did you know that LeBron once played with Michael Jordan despite their huge age difference? Michael Jordan had a training camp where he would invite young talents to train them, and among those who got a chance to practice at MJ's camp was LeBron James. In 2001, LeBron met Jordan. He was only 16 years old, and Jordan was 38 years old. He desired to get a chance to play with MJ, and two years later, they became teammates in Santa Barbara and conquered their opponents. LeBron obviously wouldn't have gotten the chance to play with MJ if he had followed up on his NFL dreams. Number 8. There is no secret that LeBron wasn't just a great NFL player. In high school, he played two seasons at St. Vincent St. Mary High School and was named an All-Ohio wide receiver in both seasons. He's even on record saying he wanted to play in the NFL. He was introduced to football at the age of nine by Bruce Kelker, who was organizing a local football team. Sadly, LeBron sustained an injury in football that led to a broken wrist in June 2002, just before his senior year. It took two months for LeBron to recover, and this led him to shift from pursuing his profitable dream to pursuing professional basketball, a sport he was equally good at. I'm sure that if LeBron had pursued his career as an NFL player, he wouldn't have come across a psychotic fan who impersonated his dad to rob him of millions of dollars. Number 7. Throughout his life, LeBron has never known who his real father is, and after being left in the dark, LeBron always felt he had a father or a fatherly figure who would always stand by him and support him in all he does. I mean, someone who will always be around. Signing to the Miami Heat was one decision that made LeBron infamous. And this made the headline for weeks as it became one of the most viral moments in sports history. Out of nowhere, a man named Lester Stavell claimed he was LeBron's father. But not only that, he was suing LeBron and his mom Gloria for $4 million because of a DNA cover-up scandal and the entire situation started 26 years early. Revealing what had happened in 1984 on March 15th, Lester claimed he showed up at the DC Space Bar and met Gloria, LeBron's mom. So eventually, Lester took her home and described the situation with Gloria as intimate. But later that night, Lester was ashamed of his performance and decided to leave without any intentions of contacting Gloria again. A few weeks later, Lester received a call, and when he responded, it was Gloria, and she was pregnant. At that moment, Lester just couldn't believe it, so he told Gloria, well, if he's mine, make sure he plays basketball, and hung up. And keep in mind, this was the end of March, nine months before December. And when was LeBron eventually born? December 30th, 1984. 23 years later, Lester regretted that phone call and had to deny the pregnancy. On December 5th, 2007, the time had finally come that Lester realized he had messed up. LeBron was now dominating the NBA and became a multi-millionaire. So Lester called up Gloria. He apologized and even tried reconnecting with her and LeBron, but it was too late. Gloria obviously didn't want Lester coming around her or her son. She thought about all she went through raising the kid. Now he just shows up suddenly wanting to claim responsibility. Gloria was so furious that she threatened to beat him up if he ever called again. But a few days later, LeBron heard about the call and desperately wanted to know if this man was telling the truth. So they agreed to a DNA test. The results came in the mail and the imposter wasn't his dad, as he had claimed. Lester felt something shady went down with the test and believed LeBron and Gloria tampered with them to cover up the evidence. Lester claimed 
he looked exactly like LeBron. They had the same body types, same height, and in basketball, they even dunked the same. And that there was no way he wasn't LeBron's father. So Lester wasted no time in filing a $4 million lawsuit against LeBron and Gloria for fraud, defamation, and misrepresentation. But in 2011, a judge analyzed the story and felt Lester was trying to make a quick buck just for being LeBron's father. So the case was dismissed, and LeBron never acknowledged Lester again. As of today, LeBron James still doesn't know who his dad is. Do you think Lester was LeBron's father? Could there have been a cover-up, or was he just a desperate fan? The good news is that LeBron used the buck he would have lost to Lester to buy an English football team. Number 6. I'm pretty sure you didn't know that LeBron James has a stake in one of the most successful clubs in the English Premier League. Back in 2011, when he was still playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron bought a 2% stake in Liverpool FC worth $6.5 million, officially making him a part owner of the club. Knowing how successful Liverpool has become, LeBron went ahead to increase his stake in Liverpool in 2021 by investing an extra £540 million in the club. According to Forbes, Liverpool is the fifth richest club in the world, with an estimated value of $4.1 billion as of 2022 and generates annual revenue of over $620 million. Liverpool Football Club even printed a jersey with his favorite number, 6. But why is he always synonymous with the number 6? Number 5. LeBron has been seen wearing number 6 since joining the Miami Heat in July 2010. When he changed teams, LeBron also changed his famed number 23 to number 6. According to LeBron, the number 6 is symbolic and reminds him of many life moments. First, his eldest son, LeBron James Jr., was born on October 6, 2004, so he wears it to give tribute to him. Also, his second son was born in June. Another major reason he's synonymous with the number is his respect for Michael Jordan. He revealed that he admires MJ for his accomplishments and influence on the league. Just as he admires MJ for his unique playing ability, someone else sees LeBron as his hero for saving his life. LeBron James is not just an NBA superstar, he's also a swimmer, and I feel he should pick up a career in the sport and hop on the next Olympic. LeBron James set out to vacation in the Bahamas along with Dwayne Wade, Chris Paul, Carmelo Anthony, and their families. But as they got onto the banana boat and went far off the shore, a storm hit that boat. When they returned to the shore safely, they realized that Anthony was missing. LeBron was the only one who knew how to swim got into the waters, and he saved Anthony, who was drowning. During an Instagram live session with Wade and Gabriel Union, Anthony spoke about the ordeal while revealing that LeBron saved his life. Take it from me, LeBron is a nice guy. Maybe he learned a couple things from his humble beginnings, especially as a homeless boy. Number 3. Though LeBron James now owns a luxurious mansion worth $23 million in Los Angeles, and boasts a net worth of $1 billion as of 2022, he was once homeless. He would sleep on old couches belonging to his mother's friends. Sometimes, parties could continue into the late night in the same one-bedroom apartment in which LeBron was sheltering. Gloria barely earned enough from her low-paying jobs to afford a good place. Luckily, LeBron befriended his football team coach, Frank Walker, and moved to live in with him as his mother continued to seek a stable living situation. Despite going through a lot while growing up, he wasn't the highest paid player until age 31. Number 2. Before LeBron became the highest paid NBA player, veteran NBA stars like Shaquille O'Neal used to earn huge amounts of money. However, due to aging and injury, O'Neal was forced to retire from the NBA. LeBron's earnings rose to the ceiling during his second go-around with his team, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Additionally, his four-year deal with the Lakers made him the highest-paid NBA player. He still holds the title of the highest-paid NBA player, and recently, LeBron signed a two-year $85 million extension with the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron's journey to becoming the highest-paid NBA player started after he made a wise decision back in 2003. Number 1. When LeBron was just an 18-year-old high school kid in 2003, he turned down a $10 million deal from Reebok. Sounds crazy, huh? the deal barred him from signing contracts with their contemporaries like Adidas and Nike. But LeBron decided to wait to see what others would come up with, and his decision to turn down the offer paid off. Nike showed up with a $19 million offer, and at the time, LeBron wasn't even a pro athlete. And later in 2015, he signed a $1 billion deal with Nike, and the brand 
pays him an estimated $32 million annually. Call him a goal getter and a shrewd athlete. You wouldn't be wrong. Let us know your thoughts about the NBA star in the comments below. See you in the next one.